So here's a case of a patient with a pelvic mass. And on the MR images with T1 and T2 weighted sequences, you can see that this mass, which is arising from the sacrum, is incredibly T2 bright, but relatively homogeneous and pretty homogeneously T2 one hypointense. Now, anytime you see this much T2 hyperintensity, you really need to think about a patient having some kind of a chondroid tumor, particularly with lesions arising from the bone, whether it's a chondrosarcoma or a chordoma. And if you look at the correlated uh, correlation CT images, you can see that this patient, again, has a relatively homogeneous low-density mass arising from the sacrum and the coccyx with some evidence of bony destruction. This is a great example of a chordoma arising from the sacrum. And in this example, I'd probably consider in terms of my differential diagnosis, other entities including things like a chondrosarcoma, maybe a plasma cytoma, maybe a large metastasis, myeloma, or uh, even some kind of a giant cell tumor. In this case, this turned out to be a sacral chordoma. And I think you should be able to arrive at that diagnosis at the top of your differential based on its T2 signal characteristics.